spontaneous sex is more fun compared to sex that I shared with ah, babe how far now let's let's resume to do ah, at the moment I'm married like this I'm smashing every day like smashing every day but it doesn't work like that uh, from the title of the video you already know what I want to talk about in this video um, and I'm gonna be talking about sex all right um, if that kind of topic interests you then stick around to find out more Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. Uh, and um, one of the questions that I get all the time, by the way, pardon me, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, I talk about fatherhood, relationship, lifestyle, and everything in between. All right. If this kind of content interests you, then this is the video to watch. So on radio all the time, I mean, for I've been doing love and relationship on radio for quite a while now, even before my new radio station or the current radio station I work with. I've been doing it for a while. Um, I've been the king of the nightlife, you know, on radio for a while, doing love and relationship. And um, doing love and relationship on radio can be a bit dicey because people ask you all kinds of questions that you cannot answer. I mean, some of these questions are questions that I've been getting even way before I got married. And one of them is, how many times should married people have sex? How many times should married people have sex? Okay, welcome back to the show. This is still the Love and Relationship Lounge right here on radio. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. Welcome back from the music break so on the show all the time i get this question on all social media platforms that how many times should married people have sex how many times should married people have sex i get that question all the time and um this particular question is um, a very direct question and um I choose not to answer it on radio, so I'm going to answer this question on my social media platforms. Basically, I'm going to answer this question on my YouTube channel. So if you're not following me on YouTube, just go straight to my YouTube channel uh, to search for my YouTube channel. Subscribe, turn on notification, and of course, drop your comment. That's that is Connor with Ayo on YouTube. I'm surely going to be answering this particular question on my YouTube channel. All right, so stick around right there on my channel because i'm going to answer that so we're going to move on to other things on the show so that question how long or how many times should married people have sex i mean um from what i read online and from what i've heard from from what i've heard from sex therapists um sex therapists will tell you that um, for a married couple at least once a week at least once a week but for me, um, I think um, it might not work for some people that way. Different strokes for different folks. So I'm going to start from here. We must first of all establish the fact that marriage or sex and marriage is something ordained by God. Sex and marriage is not what any man created. Sex and marriage is what God created. So I think in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse uh, somewhere around 27, I'm not sure. So I'm going to paraphrase here. And that's where the Bible says something about God created man and he made, uh, man and woman in his own image um, and wants us to enlarge our coast. That's paraphrasing to enlarge our coast, to procreate, to reproduce. That's the, that's the you know essence of God. And that's why um when people deal with infertility and the likes you know um from the ministerial point of view to tell you that it is nothing it is not god's plan personally i believe that it is not god's plan and god can do all things so if you're in that category i trust in god i trust god and i pray that god will definitely give you you know your answers as regards to children because all he wants for us is to enlarge is to reproduce have male and female children you know so that's god's plan for us so basically my point exactly is that god ordained sex in marriage now since it is something ordained by god how many times should it then happen every day every hour every second sex drive is 
very different. There's something about sex drive. I might not be able to talk about it more, but if you're watching this video right after this video, you can just Google or check it out on YouTube here. Um, understand, understanding sex drive. People have different sex drive, all right? Some people, they are very hyper. Some people, they are not very hyper. Some people want to have sex every day. Some people do not want to have sex any day or every day. That does not necessarily mean that something is wrong with them. Although there are some, you know, life situation that personally can, you know, lead to people not wanting to, you know, be up to the task when either of their spouses up to it and expect them to be ready. Uh, things such as stress. Hmm. You've never been stressed out at work. If you've ever been stressed by any task in your life as a married person, I believe that there are married people that want this standard. You would understand that sometimes you don't feel up to it. And that's why, you know, in this society today, a lot of young people use all kinds of sex enhancers and the likes. I'm not saying I'm endorsing. I'm not saying I'm not endorsing. Do what works for you. But I'm saying basically is stress is one of the issues that can cause it per time and um, okay so all of this point is leading me somewhere so stress is one of the things that can cause it and also emotional breakdown if you are dealing with something in your life something very serious uh, you just lost someone um, something is not going too fine and maybe someone is having a good or someone's drive is just up there and they really don't know a good time or a bad time they just want to you know do the do like every other time that can also slow down one's sex drive and um, what again childbirth especially in women when they just put your head so i can imagine a man who has a very strong sex drive and has been faithful all through the pregnancy you know period of his wife and um, the wife put to bed and is like ah, babe how far now let's let's resume the do and um, baby is like i'm not up to it so nothing is wrong with her is just as a result of the process and the process of healing um, sickness can also be a part of it someone is dealing with some kind of health issues it can also be a big issue part time really and um, they might not be able to perform as much as you expect them to do so if we then say that married people should you know have sex every day every week every month what about all of these things that I just listed? All right, remember that I said different strokes work for different folks. People are different. A lot of married people are very lucky that their spouses have the same sex drive as they are, the luckiest set of people on earth. Your partner do not have the same sex drive as you have, then what you need to do is talk and um, talk and schedule or something and that's what i feel you need to communicate really because at the end of the day a lot of young people today especially guys i've seen this a lot on twitter i've seen this a lot on twitter all the time even on radio you know a lot of people call on radio and they say stuff like ah, at the moment i'm married like this i'm smashing every day like smashing every day but it doesn't work like that really it doesn't work like that that is one big time unrealistic expectation and from my data um, looking at people that ask this question all the time these people are single people and this even make me scared the more because if single people continue to ask questions how often should married people have sex that's to let you know that they are already living with some kind of expectation they they have a picture in their mind they know what they want but it doesn't always work that way so what I'm going to say is um it's very difficult to answer that question outrightly it's very difficult to answer that question outrightly so what i'm going to say is communicate that's the truth you need to understand your spouse you need to understand who they are and you need to understand their sex drive note i am talking to married people good so <laughs> you need to understand their sex drive you know what triggers them what turns them on understand your emotions understand when they need you understand when i mean it can be really hard and, and, and i'm talking from the place of a man right now it can be really really hard but really i mean it's the same way you negotiate and you don't have it all in negotiation you also you know have to sit down and talk about this thing so talk about it why they don't feel up to it when you need it and i think the other person too should be as sincere as possible to be as sincere as possible i mean uh, there's this saying that says when you when you tell the truth it's very easy to help 
so i think the other person should also be very sincere be very as open as you can be so that you can get help when you need to get help communicate like communicate and understand so you don't want to do the do every day and someone do not want to do it and in your mind you are already calculating i'll be close up close up so in your mind so that you don't make judgment and you don't continue to think and think and think just ask questions find out basically what's going on why don't you want to do this so that we can you know have a sharing formula and also another thing that i'm going to say that makes it very difficult is um i think you need to schedule just the same way we you know in some family or some individual will create a kind of food timetable you know the way they want to eat the kind of food they want to eat you know on monday the kind of food they want to eat on tuesday make a schedule if you can i know a lot of people have said stuff about um spontaneous sex be more you know spontaneous sex is more fun compared to sex that are scheduled but really different strokes for different folks so for all the young people that keep asking me this question on radio on instagram i'm answering this question here and any other time i get this question again in the present and in future i'm going to direct you to watch this video because i believe that nothing will change and sex drives will forever not be the same i'm trying to mice my words so that i don't get blocked <laughs> so that i don't get blocked and also the same way why i ran away from this on radio is because of regulations and all so um i'm just going to say communicate with your spouse for married people communicate first off i bet communicate it's it's very it's very very important and then we can schedule we can see a psychologist, a therapist, and if possible, if we can also enhance if it works for you, all right? If it works for you, if it works for you, I'm saying if it works for you, please don't quote me. If it works for you, do what you need to do so that you can be happy or so that you both can make each other happy. I believe that I've been able to answer this question and I'm also opening it up to my viewers. Please drop a comment for me in the comment section. How often do you think? How often do you think married people should have sex every day, every month, every hour, every second? Please don't kill yourself. That's my point. Please do not kill yourself. And I know a lot of people that, um, apart from sex drive, and that's why I say it all the time, especially to young people, you have to be very careful of what you see. If you watch pornography and you are a pornographic addict, you will, you will, I mean, that thing is just a film and the same way if you are into film production even youtube cutting and joining you know what i mean so it's not real that's my conclusion it's not real so if you want to judge your life by that you might have a big very very big issue so if you are if you belong to that category i think you need to stop right now find healing because the moment you get married marriage is not going to stop it neither is it going to um and of course you might not even take it to that place of um pleasure or fulfillment as the case may be because you expect that you want to be smashing every day every second and your partner is not up to it so yeah basically that's it so i believe i've been able to answer this question drop a comment for me below let me know if uh what you think let me know what you think i would like to know and also if you have a question for me you can also drop it in the comment below i will answer your question and um yeah you can also drop other ones that i can answer i believe that people on the channel will be able to help you so if you are still watching this video to the sport thank you so much for watching and um yeah thank you so much for watching and also please subscribe i beg you i need subscribers <laughs> please subscribe and uh, turn on notification if you haven't sure i will definitely see you in my next video god bless you